Hi friends, today we are going to be doing the glue part of our glue jellyfish. So you will need a glue bottle, a piece of paper, and a pencil if you choose. Of course, please write your name on the back. And then what we're going to do, my friends, is we are going to be drawing a jellyfish, but strictly from glue. Now, if you want, you can go and trace everything out with a pencil. But if you choose to do that, I need you to erase all of your pencil before you start with your glue because once you put the glue over your pencil it's going to lock those pencil marks in and we don't want to see pencil marks on our final project so again if you choose to do pencil do it very 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 lightly so you don't indent your paper with how strong you're using your pencil and then also my friends erase to where you can barely see it because we don't want pencil marks on our final paper so how we're gonna do this, my friends, is first things, we need to open up our glue cap. Do you see this little space right there? That's how I know that is it. how it is open. Now, if you are not using it, it needs to stay completely shut, meaning there is no gap, so there, that we don't um, mess up the front, okay? Because it'll dry out and it'll be really hard to use and all that fun stuff. So, we're gonna shake our glue down to the bottom, and we're gonna start with an big old arch like a rainbow and then we're going to connect those two arches with a squiggly line pretty simple so far and my friends if you if you mess up right here or anywhere just go in with more glue and add more texture and detail so i'm just going in and i'm kind of filling that into where i messed up because my friends there's no such thing as messing up in artwork if you mess up it's just an opportunity to make it better so now i have even more detail and texture on my jellyfish from that one spot okay and now from here we're going to do some squiggly lines all the way down for the tentacles so we're also going to overlap meaning we're going to have them go over top of each other so i'm going to have a squiggle squiggle and we're just going to keep doing squiggles all the way down. Now, once you have as many tentacles as you would like, you're going to go in and add some dots for more details. So I'm going to do some dots on the jellyfish. And take your time, my friends. I know that this glue is kind of tricky to work with, but it's okay. Just gonna add dots, add dots. You can add dots to your tentacles as well. Okay, now do you see how my jellyfish is covering my whole page? That is the goal. Now, if you go in and your jellyfish ends up being pretty small and you can fit more, go for it. I want at least one, two, three jellyfish on there. So you can have one, you can have two, and you can have three jellyfish, but you cannot have four or five, just three okay and maybe i even want to add like some bubbles around it which you certainly can totally up to you make it unique to yourself okay and then once you are done with the gluing part my friends you're going to walk it over to the drying rack if you would like glitter on it ask the teacher will sprinkle glitter on it and then you need to close up that glue cap put it back by the sink and then grab free draw for the rest of class. Thank you.